Nowadays, one in 88 children is diagnosed with autism. Many researchers call it the epidemic of 21st century. Children with autism are born and people are not informed how to grow and educate such children. Autistic child becomes an accepted by the society despite of the symptoms he has. The problem is the ignorance and lack of knowledge in what autism really is. I believe that these children need more attention from the society. Autism is not a single condition, it is a spectrum of disorders. Autism is diagnosed when a student has six or more symptoms in areas such problems with socialization, communication and repetitive or inflexible behavior. Researchers are studying whether there is a real epidemic of autism. In the period of 1981, only one children in 5000 was born with autism. but nowadays it is 1 in 88 children. Why? That is the question parents of autistic children ask doctors. And unfortunately, there is no concrete answer. As an autism has a spectrum of symptoms, it has a spectrum of causes. During the period, the exposure to many agents increased the risk of autism. Last but least are genes. Some of autistic children have mutated genes that means that parents and pregnancy period has no effect on development of autism. That means society shouldn't look at autism as a disease. If we increase awareness, more parents, more pediatrician, more teacher will recognize the features of autism. As you may know, autism cannot be cured, but there are different types of alternative medicine. There is a scientifically approved method of animal-assisted therapy. This therapy includes horses and dogs. Children getting in contact with these animals learn the way of perception, communication, play, teamwork, comprehension that leads to the social integration. I would like to introduce another therapy, dolphin-assisted therapy. It is a worldwide known method which has not been scientifically approved. Georgia is one of the countries where that type of therapy has not become an assisted type. In Georgia assisted city Batumi, there is a dolphinarium, but the problem is that dolphin therapy in Batumi included only physical interaction with the dolphins without special games, tactics or educative system. My aim was to implement the dolphin assisted therapy as an educational system supposedly designed to meet the needs of the individual special needs child. The fact was that local trainers had no knowledge of what the assisted therapy was. There was no specialist who can train the dolphins and afterwards conduct a lesson with the disabled child, develop trained perception and communication skills. As for the autistic child, it was the most important hard work, there was the problem and I understood I had to deal with it. My first step was to create a wide media coverage. Me and my team contacted the authorities, private businessmen, volunteer organizations and other activities to raise the topic in the society. After a long and thorny way, I got the need funding and could introduce the APA Behavioral Therapy Program to the special needs children of Batumi. To make it clear, ABA Behavioral Therapy is a program oriented to the integration of special needs children in the society. Nevertheless, it never matters how you look like, how you talk or what are your communicational skills. Every human being should be treated with respect. There is what is called humanity. And we must never forget that everyone is equal.